Okay, uh, just first day, just a couple thoughts. Um, man, it felt good to be on the field, on the practice field. You know, after having a, uh, you know, spring break, you're always kind of worried about how they're going to come back, you know, and, and so forth. But really, I thought for most of the practice, uh, our guys, they had great energy, attitude, and body language, and really moved around good. I think we got tired toward the end a little bit and uh, got a little sloppy. Uh, but those are those are all good things. Those are all, we were repping a lot of guys too. When you're repping a lot of guys, uh, you're going to have some of that. But really pleased with our attitude and how we approach practice today. Uh, got a lot of improvements to do and a lot of things correct. But the exciting thing is, is when you look around, we got a lot of veteran guys, and now we're mixing in some new guys with it. And it's exciting to see all that come together. But really pleased with with them. I mean, I, it was a fun fun day to be on the field. We got lucky with the weather. Obviously, it was a little windy though for a quarterback, I would say, but. Uh, we got lucky it wasn't real hot and really liked the way our guys approached it. I think, you know, now the challenge is to come back in two days and do it again, you know, and that's what we got to do. We got a lot of corrections we can make. The good thing about having an off day in between is we got a lot of time to do that. And if our guys will approach those off days right, and rehydrate and take care of their bodies, we should be able to do that every other day and be okay. A little different, I think Coach last year said they went four days a week. And, you know, I like this three day a week in the spring. You can really slow down and, uh, and really teach a lot. But overall, really pleased, you know, to the naked eye. I need to watch the film, obviously, and see, but uh, excited about uh, what we showed today, and hopefully we can continue to improve each and every practice. Okay, questions? Coach, uh, so what's it been like the last couple of months since you got here? I know you've worked with mm -hmm. Coach Malzahn before, so I'm guessing that was an easier transition. So what's that process been like, just kind of getting to know the players that you have? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, you know, I got here, I think, December the 28th, and this is my third time to work for Coach, so uh, really kind of know what to expect, which is good. Um, he's evolved some and changed some, though, I would say, you know, just, you know, scheme-wise a little bit here and there. Uh, and, you know, as, you know, as any good coach will do, he's adjusted to our personnel and to our players and what they're good at doing. And uh, so that's been good, but uh, very familiar with what we've done offensively, how we approach practice. Good thing is I had an idea what the practice structure was like, so that wasn't new. Uh, but it's been a great process. I've really tried to get to know our players, especially on offense. I'm probably not as good with the defensive guys right now, just being honest with you, uh, recognizing them and so forth. Now, if they got their jersey on, I probably got a good shot at, at getting it right. But the offensive guys, trying to build a relationship with those guys, it's really important to me that, you know, that, that I, these guys know me. Because, you know, in the heat of battle, things, you're, you're coaching, and when you walk off that line, and coach says it all the time, you can put your arm around a guy and love on him because that's what we're here for, to develop these guys. and. And, uh, and develop relationships. But it's been good. I think uh, I've tried to get to know them. We've had some, some off the field get togethers. I think we went bowling one night through the axe, axe handle, wherever, wherever that place was called. That was good. Uh, and being the quarterback coach and the coordinator, you always want to you know, make sure you know the old linemen and, and everybody all the way around. And uh, so we've, I've tried to do a good job of that and uh, really like our guys. Well, last time we spoke, you mentioned something that you offer as a fresh perspective about the quarterback room. Yeah. You know, one day is just one day, but what did kind of impress you about the quarterbacks now that you got to see them mm -hmm. firsthand? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, right now we're rotating all five basically evenly, um, which is hard to do. We'll do that probably for a few days whenever coach decides we're not going to do it anymore. But, you know, I think what I saw is through the walkthroughs and the meetings that our guys really took what we were teaching onto the field. And that's what I like to see. You know, uh, obviously physical mistakes we had, and then we got tired and we had a couple bad reads in here and there. But for the most part, we communicated right to the O-line, which is a huge part of it. We got the signal. We were able to understand where, the, where we should go with our eyes when the ball snapped in the passing game. And then uh, read game, I know we missed a couple reads, but I really was, really was pleased with how all five of them approached practice. Uh, I think they're trying to do what they're coached to do. You know, Coach Malzahn always talks about the coach me, coach attitude. We have that, that's not a problem. Everybody in that room, everybody on offense, to be honest with you, has that attitude. And that's, that's, that's so important. You know, when, you, when you've been in different places like I have, that's not common everywhere. Guys want to, you know, don't want to be coached. They don't want to be held accountable. They don't want to be made to run off the field. They don't want to be made to wear their stuff the right way. And, you know, it's something I think Coach has always been big on, and, and our guys have bought into that. And uh, you can tell we're in year two, you know, of the process instead of year one. You, you talk about working for Gus the third, with um, Gus the third time. Uh, you know, can you kind of expand on the thought of some of the things that have changed in, in those uh, in those experiences, and how much did uh, that relationship you know matter when it came to coming in here and working for UCF? Uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, just scheme wise, there are some things that we dabbled with a little at Auburn that he's doing a lot more here now, uh, and it's things that 
that these guys were already good at doing um, in the pass game and the run game. And, and so I've seen him and his comfort grow in those things. And they were really good at those things last year. When you look back at, at execution, you know, one of the things you do as a coordinator is you're always doing a quality control. Hey, what were we good at? What were we not good at? And it's really simple. If we're not good at it, let's don't call it or let's work at it, you know? And what I've noticed is from the three years I've been away from him is he's, he's, he's evolved a lot of those things. And, uh, and doing a lot of things that, and that's the key of the, you know, that, to me that's the sign of a really good coach. You're going to do what your players are good at. It's not a, it's not one of these deals where you're going to force a square into a circle and so forth. But, uh, you know, for me working for him, I mean, he's obviously a mentor to me. So it was a no-brainer for me to get the opportunity to work with him again and get timed up right in both of our careers, so to speak. And uh, you know, he's a great guy and a, and a mentor to me and fun to learn from. So uh, it's been good and it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Chip, I asked Gus this yesterday about how analysts have kind of come in and mm -hmm. staffs and helped out and what they what they bring and provide. Yep. You yourself went through a period of being an analyst. Yeah. What was that like? How, was it a difficult transition to kind of you know go from coach to analyst and back to coach? And, yeah. and what do you see an analyst role really kind of helping you out? Yeah, it was a huge transition back in 2013. You know, I've been a high school head coach at that point uh, three different times and been in high school like 15 years. So I go from being in charge, running my own program, to I'm an off the field analyst, which you know the rules for that. They're not allowed to coach on the field. You're not really allowed to instruct players. You've got to be a support role. Uh, I was actually, I believe, I know I was in the first group, first analyst ever at Auburn with him. He, when, when he got the job, that was one of the things he did. He hired six of us. We were looking at this actually yesterday. All six guys that were in that room with me are all coaching Division One college football now, uh, which is pretty, which is pretty neat, you know. Um, so, you know, he's got a great track record of guys off the field getting opportunities on the field. And that's really important to him. I know he's always, you know, got that high school background and he, he likes doing that. He's mentoring guys. But I think the way college football has changed, those analyst roles have changed. For instance, when I was with him, I was kind of his right hand guy helping him break down games and, and game plan and all those things. And each analyst kind of had a different role. OK, all six of them. OK, now here, you know, have, we don't have six, but each of them have a specific role, but I think the recruiting piece is more probably important now than it's ever been with the transfer portal and the opportunity to get, you know, to evaluate those guys, to evaluate junior college guys, to evaluate high school guys. I think the analysts play a, a huge role in our recruiting, uh, and they also all have other little duties, kind of uh, uh, whatever the head coach says, kind of duties, you know. But no, it's it's a great opportunity to break in. It's a great opportunity to learn from you know one of the best that's ever done it and. Guys that have the uh, the, uh, the ambition to be a college coach or whatever, it's a great way to, to get into the profession. I know today was just the first practice, yeah. but your impressions of Mikey Keene, you know, stepped in as a starter this mm -hmm. past season. What have you kind of you know learned about him, I guess, through this process? Yeah, I'm very impressed with, with Mikey. I mean, all the guys, but Mikey, obviously, you know he's played. You can tell he's played. He's very confident, uh, very smart, very, and a really, really uh, high football IQ. Uh, does what he's coached to do, uh, doesn't try to do too much, knows his strengths and his weaknesses, his limitations, and, and what he's really good at, and uh, just an eager guy. Uh, all five of those guys, I will say this, they all are eager to learn. They're all in the building watching film, you know, texting me, asking me different things and so forth. But, you know, obviously Mikey has played the most here, and you can tell. I mean, he goes out there and he's confident and uh, nothing's – he's not – the moment's not too big for him. You know, he's he's uh, he's got a moxie about him that I really like, uh, and uh, he's competing, and that's what I like to see. What did you see from John Rice Plumley? I know he spent a lot of time with baseball. Yep. Obviously, splitting time a little bit, but what did you see from him today? Uh, How was he learning? Yeah, uh, he showed a lot of really good flashes. Uh, the one thing I think the thing I noticed being on the field with him for the first time. You know, we recruited him when I was at Auburn, but. Wasn't on the field with him. I watched him practice a couple of times. Um, we know he's a great athlete, but what, I saw the ball really jump out of his hand some, which surprised me. It was a pleasant surprise. When I say that, it means it, it had good velocity out of his hand. Um, obviously, you know, getting his body coordinated. You know, guy, the guy played receiver for, I guess, for the last 18 months or something. Played, uh, I guess, his freshman year, and then in the spring of the next year was a quarterback, and then he went to receiver. So, you know, going from running routes and catching it to throwing it and all the fundamentals that go with it. Uh, he's got some work to do, but what I really like is the way the ball comes out of his hand. Another guy that's intelligent and really eager to learn and uh, wants to be really good, uh, holds himself uh, to a high standard. You like to see that. Welcome in, Coach. I Thank just you. wanted to ask a quick question. From your perspective, mm -hmm. um, last year 
you know, Gus first came in, uh, did a lot, of, took a lot of inventory, brought in a lot of uh, uh, foundation that you're now coming into yeah. here with this season. Um, from your perspective, how much easier is it coming in with that foundation already built? Oh, yeah, it's night and day. I told I told Coach that during one of the breaks. As you can tell, it's year two. Your guys already understand some of the, the little intricacies of the offense and how, where to align and how to line up and the fundamentals of finding the signal and doing all those things. Uh, that's hard when you first start. You know, I've been, when I was a head coach, I had to do it from the start. I've been on a, the first uh, starting of staff with him uh, way back. Uh, it's really hard when you've never been on the field with them before. So you can tell it's year two and usually a lot of growth from year one to year two. And, and I think that the key to that is our leadership. We have group, really good leadership on this team. I think they'll carry us a long ways and really hopefully take that next step. That's what we're looking for. You mentioned the corrections, you know, yeah. you have a day off, I guess. Uh -huh. What's something you might want to specifically work on Thursday that maybe didn't go as well before? I'm just curious. Uh, just off the naked eye, uh, without watching the film, I would say, you know, uh, finish and practice better. You know, I can't really speak on the scheme yet because I just gotta need to watch the film. But like, I felt like we tailed off there in the, the last half of the last Kelly period, and then the team period was hit and miss. So I think we gotta challenge our guys to finish better. And we, I did after this, after when I called them up, and they'll do it. They'll respond, and they they want to be good. They want to be coached. They want to be held to a high standard and held accountable. So uh, I think for me, just finish practice. And then, uh, you know, the mistakes are going to happen. We're going to make mistakes. I mean, Ronald Keith's going to make a mistake. He's played a bunch, right? Uh, Matt's going to make a mistake at center sometime. But that's stuff we can coach on film. The effort, the energy, the attitude, the body language, that's what we're coaching right now. And uh, I think they'll respond right. But the energy is good. Yeah. First day of practice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. everybody's excited about the first day, right? Is, can, can we do it on Thursday? That's the question. Now, much easier when there's a day off, right? Uh, you know, but they're going to be sore. Hopefully, they'll take care of their bodies, rehydrate, do all those things, and Thursday come out and attack it again. That's what we're looking for. I know it hasn't been a lot of time, but is there anything different um, that you've noticed in Gus's style in this uh, go round uh, early on here? Uh, yeah, you talking about like offensively? Okay, yeah, just in general, his coaching style, you know. Yeah, he, he, than Waffle House for it. You know, <laughs> yeah, he's not a Waffle House guy anymore. I heard so <laughs> he corrected me on that. Um, you know, he he's uh, you know, what he's been through the last couple months, uh, it's definitely had an impact on him. I think um, personally, you know, uh, obviously Christie's doing really good now. We and uh, you know, and all that, but I think uh, I think he's enjoying what he's doing. Okay, and. Not that he, we didn't when I was with him at other places. I mean, but obviously I think he's uh, refreshed, excited. I know one thing, he really likes our team. He really likes our players. Not to say he didn't other places, but uh, I see a, a passion in him, you know, and the energy, which he's always had that. But uh, I think that's what's exciting. Some of our young guys probably don't realize they're lucky to have a guy like him as their head coach. I mean, he's been been a lot of, been a really good coach for a long time. and. He's, he's excited. You can feel the energy in him. When he got up and spoke to the team. These guys will tell you this morning and going through the, this is what we're going to do. I mean, he was talking to get fast and, and uh, he was out of breath. He was excited. And uh, that's that's fun. And if I'm a player, that excites me that my coach is excited to coach me. Coach, uh, back here. Yep. Um, talk about the veteran uh, offensive line. You have a lot of guys yep. coming back, a lot of guys who, who have played mm -hmm. a lot of college football. Talk about uh, the, the offensive line as from, from your perspective. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, obviously having three starters returning, Matt, I believe, can be one of the best centers in the country. Uh, I've been very impressed with Lakai, and also, um, you know, I think, I just think that unit, obviously with Coach Haney's been with them now a year. You had Lakai, Sam, and, uh, and Matt. I mean, those are three guys you can build the, the front line. Then you've got some other guys like Adrian and, and, and uh, Paul, and then we brought in a couple of new guys, you know. I think that group has potential to be really special. Uh, we're not there, we're not even close yet. But what I see is a group that's already close. Uh, they like being coached, they like to practice. Uh, they're, they're fun guys, they got great personalities. Uh, they're tough guys. Uh, everything right there, I think, is in the making for a really special group. But you gotta put the work in and go do it every day. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thanks,